Hi children and welcome to this week's edition of Big Fish. My name's Sandra and I'm going to take you through the Bible point today which is all about God gives us wisdom. So before we start and we delve into the Bible story, let's start with a song and this is called the Wisdom Song and I'm just going to play a little bit of it. Okay, so I'm just going to stop it there and we're going to learn, first of all, about our Bible verse, which is Joshua 1.9, where God says, this is my command, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Okay, so we're going to talk about a lady in the Bible who gave advice to people, but first of all, I've got a giraffe in my kitchen. I don't know what to do. There's a giraffe in my kitchen. What am I going to do? So I need your help. How nicely can we ask this giraffe to leave our kitchen? Hey, some good advice there. I'll have to remember that next time I walk into my kitchen and there's a giraffe there. But this time I'm going to talk about, I know that was just a silly example, but I'm going to talk about a real situations where people had real problems and even about one who was about to go into battle and God talks through the Bible so let's have a quick prayer let's close our eyes bow our heads and put our hands together Lord please help us to understand this message that God gives us wisdom help us to always turn to him whenever we have a problem and we give you thanks Lord that you're always with us and you will answer whatever our situation is Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, Deborah was a judge and a prophetess. And that means that God gave her messages and she passed them on to the people. So let's just have a little bit of a video about Deborah. This is Deborah. She was a judge in Israel for over 40 years. Today, when we think of a judge, we might think of someone who sits in a courtroom, wears a robe, decides who's guilty and who's not. Someone who makes hard decisions as fairly as possible. But when Deborah was around, a judge was more like a leader for the Israelites. Judges would help people with their problems, and they even made decisions about war. Deborah was also a prophet. That means God spoke to her, she listened, and then she told people what she heard. Basically, she was the voice of God to the people. Now here's the amazing part. It was a big deal for a person to be a judge. And it was a big deal for a person to be a prophet. It was super rare for someone to be both. Now this may sound a little strange, but way back when, women weren't always given as much importance as men. So it was unheard of for a woman to be both. But Deborah was both a judge and a prophet. She was strong and brave and trusted God. And he used Deborah to help lead his special family back to him. Okay, so that was a short introduction to Deborah. And at that time, the Israelites had no king. And they'd recently settled into a new land and God was ruling them. And he sent judges to settle conflicts. Now, you may have a situation where you've had an argument with a friend or a brother or a sister. And this is where God would have sent a judge to help. And God gave Deborah wisdom to settle conflicts and he gives us wisdom too. So we look to the Bible study and we see why God's people needed wise leaders like, um, like Deborah. And in Judges 4.3, 
It says this, Cesare was the commander of Jorbin's army. He had 900 iron chariots and was very cruel to the people of Israel for 20 years. So they cried out to God. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, why did they wait 20 years? And you might have a situation where you've had a problem and you haven't turned to God and you've, you've been worrying about it when you should have turned to God. And this is exactly what the Israelites should have done. Now, sometimes we, we do look to other ways, but God gave wisdom to Deborah and she had a message for Barak. So I'm going to pretend right now, if I can get my thing on, that I'm Deborah. OK. So in Judges 4, verses 6 to 7, it says, Deb said the Lord, sorry, Deborah said the Lord of God of Israel commands you go and gather 10,000 men of Nephtali and Zebulun. Lead them to Mount Tabor. I will make Cesare, the commander of Jorbin's army, come to you. Cesare, his chariots and his army will meet you at the Kishon River and I will help you defeat Cesare there. So that's quite a difficult task, isn't it? Sometimes God gives us things that are quite hard to deal with. And Barak had concerns. So I'm going to be Barak right now. Okay, I'm going into the army. Uh, and I, I didn't really want to go. So I said in Judges, or so Barak said in Judges 4 verses 8, it says, I will go with you if you go with me. But if you will not go with me, I won't go. So Barak didn't really want to go without Deborah. So God gives us wisdom. And he gave Deborah wisdom. And in Judges 4 9, it says, Deborah said, Of course I will go with you, but you will not get the victory. The Lord will let a woman defeat Cesare. So I want you to act out battle. So if you can just pretend that you're in battle, I want you to run up and down. I want you to play with your swords. I want you to march as if you're in an army. Oh, I don't know what we'd do, though, if we were in the army, do you? But Deborah and Barak went into to the army, into the battle, and God did something to help them win. And we're told in Judges 4.15 that the Lord can use Cesare and his army and his chariots. So Barak and his men used swords to defeat Cesare's army. So let's do the panic as if we're Cesare's army. Yeah? So we can imagine how they felt. And God gave wisdom to Deborah. She knew when it was time to go into battle and she knew that the Israelites would win. So let's cheer as if we've won the battle. Yeah, brilliant, eh? So God gives us wisdom and he gives us that through the Bible and he also gives it to us in our hearts when we pray. So maybe let's just have this Bible verse from James 1 verses 4. 1 to 5, sorry, 1 verses 5. But if any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. God is generous. He enjoys giving to all his people. So God will give you wisdom. Maybe there's something in your life that you're having a problem with and you don't know what to do. You need to turn to God and ask him. So I want you to imagine, we're just going to finish this off by imagining that God is... The, a writer in a newspaper article and he's, he's answering people's problems. So I want you to write down what your problem is and then I want you to pray over it. So you can always pause this video and then we'll come back later. And then let's just close our eyes again and say thank you God that we can turn to you. Thank you God that you are generous and faithful and that you will answer our prayers Lord and I ask that each child that's brought their problems to you Lord that you will answer them and you will help them as only you can for true wisdom comes from you we give you all the glory Lord and thank you in Jesus precious name amen so remember true wisdom comes from God and just like God can send somebody in your life to answer the questions that you may have or the problems you may have. It's exactly what he did with Deborah and Barak. God bless you and your families. Have a great day and always remember to turn to God when you need help. Goodbye. Thank you.